Welcome back. In this episode, we're going to see how we can pick our list using the list picker from the awesome SPFX property controls library. So without further ado, let's dive straight in. Prove that. It's bringing all the information in. And as you can see, we have a nice accordion control. Now, as the series goes on, of course, we'll see all the different controls that are available, but uh, it gives you a little bit of an insight into the accordion one. Now, the kind of last thing uh, I want to do in this initial introduction is to uh, show the property controls. OK, so if I was to go to the SPFX property uh, pane controls, you'll see that if we go to this one here, there's a brilliant uh, one in here, which allows you to um, pick a list, which is what we want to do. Property uh, field list picker. And then what we want to do is if that hasn't been set, then we want to show an, um, a message on our web part to say it needs to be configured. So let's have a look at the property field list picker. And there it is, we're going to choose uh, from from here. So in order to do that, we need to install the um, library, of course, and here it is. So I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to stop this. I'm going to paste that in there. npm install at pmp spfx property control save exact. And let's start that off. Excellent. So that's installed. So what I want to do is I want to use this list control. And what we're going to do is allow the user to pick a list, of course. OK, so what we're going to do is I'm going to uh, import this into our main TS file, which is here. And let's add that on there. OK. So we're going to bring that in there. And what I want to do is I want to add a new property to our uh, list here, our, our properties, and it's going to be the list and it's going to be a string. OK, so this will actually be a list GUID. This will be the ID of the, the list. OK, so I'm going to go back here and I'm going to uh, add in here a property field control that we can now use. So what we're going to do is use this property field list picker, which is really pretty cool actually. And I'm going to put this in here, a property field list uh, picker, and it's going to look at this dot properties uh, dot lists is a selected list. And the context is going to be this uh, dot context okay so it's giving a bit of an error there i think in this version we have to do as any in there for that to work a nice little tip it does say that on the website actually and then we've got the selected list uh, that we're going to use in there now you'll notice that of course uh, there is no uh, property for uh, list in there so we need to add that um, add that in there okay so let's have a look. We're going to put list. Uh, OK, so let's put this in here. So we're going to have list as a string. And this is going to go to this dot properties dot list. It's only got the description in there at the moment. Uh, let me just make sure there's some other things in here. Yeah. OK, so we're going to have our description and we're going to have our list property in there. So that should work pretty well. Uh, and in here, it's having a uh, bit of a problem. So let's see what that is. Let me go to the definition there. List GUID. OK, so what doesn't it like there? I need to pass it through. List GUID is this dot properties dot list. OK, just as the description is this dot properties dot description. So we should now have a list, but it's worth noting it will store this as a GUID. So what we can do in our web part is here, 
we can say um, we can have a little boolean to say uh, list uh, configured or in fact actually no what we'll do is we'll just only if we get have a list on here we will uh, uh, we will try and get the items so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say get the list items if the properties we pass in change okay and then in here I'm going to say if props dot list GUID yeah um, and I'll put something like uh, and props dot list GUID is not equal to blank then I'm going to get the list items okay very good and in the get list items the last thing I want to do is you notice I'm getting by title I actually want to do here dot get by ID and I'm going to use the props list GUID to do that all right so let's see if this works let's run gulp serve and as expected nothing has appeared and the reason is we haven't selected a list and this is where this is really cool so using the properties we can select a list and in this case of course I want to use FAQ brilliant so I'm going to close that down and I think I'll probably need to do a little bit of a refresh on here and let's try and work out what's going wrong let's try that again to list GUID is undefined okay so the reason this is undefined of course is I've got list GUID in there whereas um, and I've got list GUID this dot properties dot list but I am pretty sure that if I look at this I've played plural lists so let's change that you might as well watch me debugging it on the fly <laughs> let me refresh this let me choose that list FAQ and there we are instantly it works excellent so there we are we all make mistakes well I hope you enjoyed this episode join us next time for our final episode where we're going to look at the placeholder control the web part title and finish off our web part I'll see you next time